welcome to take 700 yeah <laughs> take 700 we've had some technical difficulties so if you're watching this you are at home with tanya and james and uh tonight we are going to continue with our beer tasting series this is beer tasting episode number two in the first episode we reviewed our first dark beer we tried uh chris tritzer mm -hmm. schwarzes beer uh, so you can check out that video. Today we're going to uh, review another dark German beer made in the former East Germany. Uh, I'm going to give Tommy the bottle. Lübser. Lübser. Uh, Lübser Schwarzes Beer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, brewed in the north of Germany near the Baltic Sea coast in a town called Loops, which is why it's called Lübser. Mm -hmm. But it's closest like to Rostock. We went and, to Rostock. Yeah. yeah, we went there once. And also, uh, it's in the German state of uh, Mecklenburg for Pommern. Anyway, um, this beer uh, has been brewed uh, in Germany since 1877. Uh, not quite as old as the... Yeah, the other ones the other were 1543 one. or something. Yeah, yeah, 1500s. So, as German beers go, this is kind Over. of a youngster, isn't it? Yeah. Just an interesting story about this brewery after World War II, when most of the other East German breweries were taken over by the state mm -hmm. because of communism. Mm -hmm. This brewery remained in private hands because at the time of the war and after the war it was owned by an American oh. and because the Soviet Union and the Americans were allies during the war they right. must have had some kind of an agreement that we won't take you know American businesses. Uh -huh. So this brewery was one of the very few if not the only one that stayed in private hands during wow. the communist times. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, it is. The other thing is that this, um, it's been sold a couple different times, like to bigger companies, uh -huh. and now it's owned by the parent company that, uh, you've heard of Carlsberg beer? Yeah. So basically Carlsberg, this is in the Carlsberg family. Okay. So not that that means anything, it's just, yeah. you know, the small breweries, it's like Pac-Man. Yeah. They, they just gobble the, the small breweries up the big right. one. Right. Um, read us the ingredients. Um, the ingredients, water, Gerstin malt, which I think is what? Malt, malt? Mal malted barley. And a hop fin, which is hops. Right. So on the bottle it has three ingredients. Three ingredients. Yeah. And that's because this beer wants to be in sync with the German beer purity law. Anyway, the German beer purity law, uh, so if you want to call yourself beer in Germany, you can't have other additives or yeah. preservatives or right. anything like if, if some beers to make it an amber would put like caramel color mm -hmm. in the states they could call that beer yeah but you could not call that beer here right. it would be something, something else. this is the Reinheitsgebot or the beer purity law you can have water barley uh, yeast and hops those are the four ingredients and the reason do you know why it's dark and not light mm -mm. it's the way they um, roast the barley they oh. they they kind of char it oh, I didn't it, know that yeah so that's really the only, that's why the flavors are a little bit stronger and that's mm -hmm. why the uh, color is much darker Tanya started to pour mm -hmm. and um, yeah we're going to, we're gonna give the beer a taste and we're gonna rate it on the same kind of system that we did uh, last week uh, for the previous beer. What we're gonna do is uh, we're going to uh, look at the color. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the color. This one looks a lot more like soda to me. Would you? It, it has a carbonation like so. Mine has got bubbles in yeah. it. I don't know why, but yours has been already poured for a few minutes, so it kind of settled. Right. Mine has just been poured, so it's got bubbles and foam on top. I would, and I would say that this this color reminds me, you know, like almost like sarsaparilla, maybe root beer. I don't know sarsaparilla, um, okay. but maybe root beer. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm not familiar with sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla is kind of a, a, a lighter version of root beer, but I kind of get root beer mm -hmm. from this color. Um, how about the uh, the head? I have almost no head on yeah, my beer. Yeah, it was just a little bit, a tiny bit. And yours dissipated really. Yeah, quickly. Um, last week's beer, the head started out pretty thick. Yeah. It dissipated quickly, but... Not as quick as this. Not as quick. This just, just disintegrated. Right. Um, so, and so we really have no color of the head to analyze. It just... Yeah. It is what it is. Right. Um, do you like a beer with a head or do you like it better without? 
Um, I don't like the flat beer, so I don't know. I mean, we'll see. It, maybe I'm, I'm a little concerned that maybe it might be flat. You think it might be flat? I don't know. Maybe it's old. I just bought the beer, so. Well, oh, I know, it, but I you bought it from the night market, right? So mm, we don't know how long. We, how, we, we, we don't, don't know, know how he rotates. Okay, so how often looking at the beer, it is what it is. Uh, it looks like it has some carbonation. Let's let's take a smell. I'm not going to say what I it think it smells. It smells like pretty first. mild to me. It doesn't have a strong flavor. It smells a tiny bit skunky. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. It's not... Okay, and I think what we should do is we should take a sip, kind of aerate our sip, and then smell it again. So not... It kind of has a caramel flavor. Yeah. It has... Um, well, the flavor, we're not on the flavor yet, but on the smell, it's not... I don't have a strong smell. It's not. It's really mild. It's very mild. Um, the beer last week was it really smelled of bread. Yeah. Sourdough bread was my take. Um, I had more like a coffee. You felt kind of coffee. Or chocolate. The aroma is a lot, um, it's a lot more mild. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not hoppy uh, like a craft beer or uh, some no, other beers. No, not at all. It... It's really mild. It's not skunky. It's not an no. overwhelming uh, smell. It's not salty. Mm -mm. I find that the uh, smoothness of the beer, it's very smooth. Yeah. The lack of carbonation makes it easy to drink. For sure. A lot of times, uh, you, I do like a carbonated beer. Yeah. But it makes you kind of like gassy and need mm. to, to burp. Burp, yeah. Right? Mm. But yeah, I'm I, not... I don't get that. I don't feel like that. No. Mm -mm. I don't feel heavy either. No. Uh, as far as the taste, what do we get on the taste? Um, I think that I'm getting a little bit of a caramel or molasses taste. It's not salty like last week's at all. Right, last it week's had very, a real salty... Yeah, it was really salty and it made my mouth pucker, like like right. dried out. I was thirstier this, after drinking that yeah, beer. Yeah, this is not doing that. I can, this is refreshing. Yeah. I'm not thirstier. Yeah, um, I agree. So th I do get a little taste of salt at the beginning, but yeah. the, last week the salt was really... And lingered. Yeah, for so sure. Maybe that's just the difference of where the water comes from. We're talking two distinctly different parts of the country. Absolutely. So the water, yeah. uh, the water here is a little bit saltier. So that would explain last week's yeah. kind of saltier beer. Mm -hmm. You get molasses and caramel. I get kind of like a roasted nut, like mm -hmm. a, maybe like a really bitter nut, uh, like a Brazil nut. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of get that flavor. It's not like almonds or peanuts or anything like that, but yeah. Maybe a hazelnut. Maybe. So I get kind of a nutty taste. Could yeah, um, a little bit. It's not overwhelming though. It's not really strong. It's a mild beer. It it's doesn't taste of definitely hops mild. No. I mean, it, the ingredient said those hops, but yeah, I don't get. It's not hoppy. It's not hoppy at all. Not as far as taste mm -hmm. or smell. Mm -hmm. So when are we gonna try some like light beers, like? Pilsners that I like. We have uh, three more dark beers to rate. Oh, wow. And then we're going to do five Pilsners. That's crazy. Crazy? Yeah, five dark beers. Well, you saw me at the store picking. Well, I don't know what you're doing. You just do things. And then later you say, by the way, we're doing this. Is that how it works? That's how it works, yeah. I don't think that's how you it works. You don't go into the store saying, I need to find some beers for our taste test that we're going to do on film. You don't do that. No, what happens is I say, hey, Tanya, I'm thinking about doing like a beer tasting series no, and then you dismiss that's not me true, people. and you're like okay talk. that's not true and then when i talk to you about it these are lies no this is not factual information this is no. tanya's reporting fake news that's not true because then when i then we talk about the beer tasting or we do it then you say well how come you didn't get any pilsners the way no, i like it and then it's that's not way true. too late that's not true at all mm. he doesn't tell me until after he's already bought the beers and then he says oh yeah we're gonna do a video tonight Oh, is that how it yeah, works? and you know that that's how it works. I didn't even know about this video until like 4.30 this afternoon. Well, I'd say this is a very light, refreshing, easy drinking beer. Yeah. It's got a it's got a nice uh, punch of flavor. It does. It's not overwhelming smell. No, it's good. Uh, I um, I have a kind of a number in mind. Uh, I'm going to give my beer a rating, uh, but I want to ask you first. So ladies first, again, to remind you, a scale of one to five. Yep. One, it's a horrible beer. Okay. You, you never want to taste it again. Five, really excellent. This, this might be one of your favorite okay. beers. 
Uh, so, and last week's, to put it into perspective, last week you gave uh, last week's beer a uh, three. Yeah. And I gave mine a two and a half. Okay. So, with that in mind, ladies first, uh, what's your opinion about Lubzer Schwarzes Beer from Mecklenburg, Vorpommern? I would say this one would be a four. You give it a four. I would give it a four. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's because it's definitely better than the other one. It is better, and I'm glad you you gave it a higher grade. Uh, it's much better than last week's. Yep. Big improvement. And I don't really love dark beer as it is, so um, I'm kind of at a disadvantage with right. rating these anyway. So. So it, it could very well be that a four for because the dark beer is not your jam. Right. A four might be like your five. Yeah. Like that you. This could be the max, the best beer, the best dark beer. It totally could. And for me. Um, I definitely am going to give this beer a, a much higher rating than last week. I'm going to say, I'm going to come in just a shade under you. I'm going to say three and three quarters. Okay. Not four, three and three quarters, but a big improvement from two and a half. And I'm only doing that because I know we have the beers that are coming in the... Right, are your favorite. Right. right. And, well, they're not, my, they're not my favorite, but I know that they're, I've tasted them before. So, so. You're, you are at an advantage yeah. with this dark beer so right. when we have the pilsners then it will be mine that's right because dark beer as you know is my jam right and i've tasted this a number of times i do like it mm -hmm. i've had last week's beer a number of times overall uh, i think this gets uh, a very good a good a good mark yeah right i like it i think most people think that dark beers are too heavy yeah and this beer doesn't come off like that not at all at all and it's not even filling no um so I'd say uh, Loopser, um, you did a damn fine job. We'll give you a thumbs up on top of the, uh, the three and three quarters and the four. So um, that's all we have uh, from Hala. Thanks for watching. Um, with that, thanks for watching this short little video. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for future videos, please let us know. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I got my own, I'm a fish, 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 I'm a fish